Chi Chi hummed to herself contently as she plated the last dish, savoring the aroma of her delicious cooking. She wiped her hands on her apron and beamed with excitement as she heard a knock on the door. Gohan and his lovely family had finally arrived. Goten was already at the table with a playful grin, ready to dig in to a delicious meal that awaited him. Chi Chi smiled at her son with pride, knowing he was always the first at the table. Can you bless the food, Goku? Chi Chi asked, preparing for a hearty feast. Goku closed his eyes, placing his hands together, and began to pray. Startling everyone, there was a knock at the door. Goku's face lit up as he sensed an unusual power level. He was certain he recognized it. His excitement grew as he rushed to the door, muttering to the others, Stay seated! To their amazement, it was none other than the Man of Steel, Superman. Hey, how about a rematch, the superhero said with a smile. Sure, but we're about to sit down for dinner. Do you want to join us? Goku replied. As the two titans sat down at the table to enjoy the meal, there came another knock at the door. This time it was Krillin, looking frantic and nervous. F -f Frieza is coming, Krillin stuttered out, barely able to form a coherent sentence. He relayed what he had heard. Boma had received a deep space transmission from Frieza, and the nefarious villain was set to arrive on Earth in just three weeks. Goku's face grew serious, but he remained calm. He knew the Z Fighters had to prepare for the worst. Don't worry, Krillin, he said reassuringly. We'll be ready for him. Goku knew they needed more help. He and Vegeta at their best were no match for Frieza in his newest form. It was clear the only way to stand a chance against Frieza was to train even harder than ever before. He remembered hearing about Boma's latest invention, a hyperbolic time chamber that was far more advanced than the one they used before. She had created it using her future time machine tech. Just the thought of it made him shudder. He knew that his only chance was to undergo an intense training regimen in the chamber, but could he really endure such a grueling experience? Even as he pondered the question, his mind was made up. He couldn't let his friends and family down. He would enter the time chamber no matter the cost. But Goku knew that he couldn't do it alone. He needed someone to spar with to help push him to his limits. And even further, that was when he had an idea. Hey, Superman, Goku said, turning to face the Man of Steel. Would you do me a favor and spar with me in Bulma's time chamber? Superman looked at him, his eyes flashing with a hint of amusement. Are you sure you're ready for that? Goku didn't hesitate. I have to be. Superman nodded in understanding. It was clear that Goku was determined to do whatever it took to save the world. Very well, I'll do it. Goku felt a surge of gratitude flow through him. It was clear that he had found someone he could trust. Someone who would help him make it through the grueling training he was about to endure. He called Mama up on the phone and explained the situation to her, asking if she could help him train in the time chamber. To his surprise, she had a gift for Superman as well. I've been working on a device that will allow you to take full advantage of your ability to absorb sunlight, Boma said, sounding excited. I heard Vegeta talking about it, and I thought it might be useful to you. Goku listened intently as Boma explained the device's function. Feeling grateful to have such a talented scientist on his side, with her help and Superman's, he knew that he might just have a chance to defeat Frieza. As Goku and his companion made their way to Capsule Core, a quiet sense of disappointment filled Goku's mind. I really hope Frieza that turned his life around. He thought to himself, after all, the two had fought side by side in the Tournament of Power, and for a moment, Goku had glimpsed a new side of his old enemy. But those thoughts were interrupted the moment they arrived. Vegeta was already there, his power level visibly increased thanks to Boma's newest invention. Goku couldn't help but feel impressed as his friend and rival was actually one step ahead this time. But before Goku could even speak a word of praise, Vegeta barked out, Kakarot! You fool, I warned you that Frieza was not to be trusted. Goku only grinned in response, feeling right at home in the prince's playful taunts, but knew that the situation was much more dire than ever. Nice to see you too, Vegeta, he retorted, but are you ready to train or not? The two veteran warriors locked eyes, each playfully daring the other to make the first move. For Goku and Vegeta, training had long been one of the few things that could bring them together as friends, even if they never admitted it out loud. Goku turned to Vegeta Superman, his eyes blazing with determination. Here's the plan, he said. We'll train in the hyperbolic time chamber for 16 days, and we'll push ourselves to maintain our most powerful forms throughout the entire time. For me, that means Ultra Instinct. For you, Vegeta, it'll be Ultra Ego. And Superman, 
You'll use Boma's solar device to absorb as much sunlight as possible. Together, we'll become the most powerful beings in the universe. Vegeta stared at Goku in disbelief. You're insane, Kakarot, he muttered under his breath. But Goku wasn't deterred. I know it sounds crazy, he said, but it's our only shot. We have to be ready for whatever Freezer throws at us. Superman nodded in agreement, his eyes focused on the task at hand. I'm ready, he said simply. Vegeta smirked, eyeing Goku with a mixture of admiration and amusement. I like it, he said. I just hope you and the buffoon in the cape are able to keep up. Goku grinned back, feeling a sense of camaraderie with his old rival. It was true, he and Superman were very different, but for now, they had a common goal. Together, they would push themselves to their limits in the time chamber and prepare themselves for whatever lay ahead. The formidable trio stepped into the remarkable Capsule Corp's hyperbolic time chamber, where Goku, Superman, and Vegeta were immediately greeted by a notable surge in gravity. With exhilaration filling his voice, Goku exclaimed, This is absolutely incredible! Superman, ever the pragmatic one, quipped, So, this is what you sayings consider fun. Your ways are indeed peculiar. The moment Superman finished his sentence, Vegeta bellowed in response. What did you say about Saiyans? Sensing that his comment might have offended the proud Saiyan prince, Superman replied with a smile. Oh, I merely asked about the Super Saiyan God. The curiosity got the better of me. Satisfied with Superman's response, the trio continued their journey deeper into the time chamber. Goku whispered softly under his breath. Nice save, Supes. The two warriors exchanged smiles and fist bumps, interrupting their camaraderie. Vegeta shouted, you two seem awful chummy. He pointed at Superman and arrogantly questioned, who is this cape wearing buffoon anyway? Please don't tell me that this is the one that drove you to go into your ultra instinct form. Goku quickly retorted, well, I won't tell you that then. Vegeta smugly responded, good Kakarot, because I highly doubt I'll need anything more than my base form to defeat this clown. Superman, not to be ignored, interjected, I am right here, you know, without any warning. The Saiyan Prince swiftly turned and threw a punch at the Man of Steel, squarely landing it on Superman's jaw. However, the blow had little effect. Unfazed, Superman calmly questioned, are we doing this now? Vegeta sneered, you bet your cape wearing. Before he could complete his insult, Superman swiftly retaliated by delivering a kick to Vegeta's nether regions, swiftly followed by a precise throat chop that brought the Saiyan Prince down to his knees. Having gained a newfound understanding of Saiyan's incredible power, Superman prepared for another strike. Yet before he could progress, Vegeta caught his hand and forcefully threw him with an impressive arm throw. In a display of his own power, Superman expertly regained his balance mid-air and began flying back towards Vegeta. However, by that time, Vegeta had already transformed into the Super Saiyan Blue form. Goku couldn't help but shout out, hey, I wanted to go first. The clash between Vegeta and Superman caused the entire time chamber to tremble as their ferocious blows reverberated throughout the space. The fierce battle continued relentlessly, seeming to stretch on for what felt like countless hours. Meanwhile, Goku did shadow boxing and calisthenics to keep training. Superman and Vegeta were evenly matched in strength, but Vegeta was visibly quicker and more skilled. Fortunately for Superman, his invulnerability meant he wasn't taking much damage. In the epic clash between the two warriors, Vegeta demonstrated his remarkable skills as both a fighting expert and strategic genius. With precision, he targeted a specific spot on Superman's deltoid, launching his strikes with unwavering focus. Sensing the impending danger, Goku, with a worried shake of his head, whispered, uh-oh. Within moments, Superman discovered the alarming truth that his, his arm had become immovable. Trapped by Vegeta's cunning assault, exploiting the vulnerability, Vegeta unleashed a relentless attack on Superman's other arm. In no time, the Man of Steel found himself helplessly suspended in mid-air, defenseless against his sparring partner. Just as Vegeta prepared to deliver a knockout blow, Goku channeled his immense power soared between them, effectively interrupting the impending defeat. Tag, it's my turn, Goku declared, tossing the sensu beam to Superman. With newfound strength, Superman joined in and it was a free for all. As the battle escalated to unimaginable levels, both Goku and Vegeta tapped into extraordinary energies of their ultra ego and ultra instinct forms. 
Concurrently, Superman adorned the solar bracelet ingeniously crafted by Boma, empowering him with an astonishing surge of solar energy. So intense and swift were their movements that the human eye could not perceive their actions. After 16 days had finally passed, the trio maintained and perfected their strongest forms to the point that the transformation was effortless and extremely energy efficient. Even Superman's capacity to absorb and multiply solar storage had increased tenfold, and he no longer needed Boma's device. They were all much stronger, but would that be enough to defeat Frieza? Once they arrived at Capsule, Goku exclaimed, I'm starving. The team sat down and enjoyed a meal together. As they finished eating, Vegeta rudely announced, Now you can all get the heck out of my home. Superman, now accustomed to Vegeta's sour personality, began laughing. Well, I kind of figured that was coming, he said with a smile. Thank you, Boma, for being a lovely hostess, said Superman. Just give me a call when it's time to fight that Frieza character. With that, he left in a bright red and blue blur. Suddenly, Boma announced, I'm sorry, Vegeta, but your friend is hot. Vegeta was visibly annoyed by the comment, and Goku looked confused. Goku then announced, I guess it's time for me to head home too. The same warrior then touched his finger to his forehead and used his instant transmission technique to take him home. When he arrived, Goten ran up and gave him a huge hug, yelling out, Dad! Hearing Goten shout, Chi Chi realized that Goku had made it home and ran out to greet him. Hi, honey, she said as she gave him a warm embrace. Do you think it will be enough, she asked. It has to be, Goku replied. The fateful day had finally arrived. Goku contacted Superman and told him where to meet up. Goku, Vegeta, and Superman had done all they could to prepare for the impending battle. Vegeta brimmed with confidence, knowing that his new form, his new and improved Ultra Ego, was a match for Frieza's black form. Superman radiated confidence, evident on his face, but Goku felt concerned. He began thinking to himself, why would Frieza give us so much time to prepare unless he had something up his sleeve that would make any preparation pointless? His worry must have been visible on his face because it prompted Vegeta to blurt out, Kakarot, you coward, don't tell me you're afraid. No, I'm not scared, just mentally preparing, Goku replied. Just then, the trio saw Frieza's spaceship entering Earth's atmosphere. Superman announced, it's time. The spaceship landed and Frieza exited the vessel. Greeting simians, are you prepared to die? Frieza announced, wait a moment, it looks like the monkeys have made a friend. Excuse me, sir, what in the world are you wearing? You look absolutely ridiculous. Would you like a moment to go home and change? I'm sure you don't want to die in that, Frieza said with a smirk. Vegeta shouted, I'll wipe that smirk off of your face. The same prince flew up with lightning speed and hit Frieza hard enough to knock him off his feet. Frieza stood up and wiped a small amount of blood from his mouth. Nice punch, you smelly ape, Frieza responded. I think I'll kill you first, he continued. Show me your full power, Frieza shouted Vegeta. You first, responded Frieza. Very well. Vegeta then transformed into his ultra ego form. Frieza followed with his black form. The two began to battle while Goku and Superman watched. Frieza and Vegeta were fairly evenly matched. Frieza had gained some strength, but he was no match for the combined might of all three heroes. In fact, Vegeta actually had the edge in this battle. What's your game, Frieza? Goku yelled out just as Vegeta was about to land a punch on an apparently defenseless black Frieza. Just then, Frieza caught Vegeta's punch. You know me too well, monkey, he responded to Goku. Meet my new friend, Thanos. Suddenly, the mad titan Thanos leaped from the spaceship and joined Frieza in the battle against Vegeta. Goku flew up and attempted to intervene but was tackled by Darkseid, the demonic new god. Superman tried to help but was caught by the cape by the mutant apocalypse. This had been Frieza's plan. He had searched the multiverse for beings as twisted as him and gathered a formidable fighting force. The trio was now outnumbered and facing a threat like no other.